boss Jillian here. We're in Fallout 4. And... I'm making my way to Far Harbor. up, Alan. We got visitors. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around Weapons here. Weapons are what's gonna win us back our island. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. I'm sorry. You've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I didn't come all this way to be interrogated by the likes of you. What? I knew I should have wasted her. Listen, stranger, if my tone is short, it's because of dealing with knuckleheads like Alan Lee. This is no interrogation, more like a welcome party. People don't come to Far Harbor unless they have a powerful good reason. It might be I can help. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hull! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! Eyes peeled, everyone! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Dig in and hold this position. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. If 
you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Let's deal. Of course. the island catch you off guard. By my gun. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything. I should know. 
I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd, I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Great shop's got everything you need. Far Harbor. 